All right, what is up, everybody? I am Justin, and I'm gonna show you the Gears of War menus and all that good stuff. So let's get right in. Probably sounded wrong, but who cares? Gears of War Ultimate Edition beta. Click on that bad boy. Here you go. You got a nice little picker. Uh, here's a little message of them saying thank you. Obviously produced by Microsoft and the coalition and here we go we're gonna get the other one nice little thing there unreal engine all right as you can see here here's the little i guess start menu all right i'm gonna press start it is loading at the bottom left corner we could have we have the a button it tells us there and versus host to join versus matches obviously can't well, I guess there is host in this game, I don't know, but you can't like physically host a game and invite people because there is no invites. You can't play with your friends. I don't know why. It's, I think it's something with their coding that it got broken or something. So you got versus, war journal, tells you about your stats and all that good, and your leaderboards for at least a beta. Settings is what it says there. Adjust your game in video, audio, and your controls. Gamer profiles, if you push that, it'll pop up with your, obviously, Xbox Live gamer profile and others what are on there. That's why I'm not pushing it. All right, we're gonna click versus. And as you can see at the bottom left, if you push Y, you could change, I guess, what regions you want to play in but I don't want to change it I want to play in one that will give me the best connection to play the game obviously if I click Xbox Live it'll start syncing data we have social match as you can read at the bottom play casual public matches on Xbox Live earn less XP but stats and achievements are still tracked you can't earn achievements because this is a beta competitive match play competitive matches on xbox live where stats and achievements are tracked earn extra xp but quit penalties apply so you obviously don't want to quit in that again this is a beta so got team death match as you can see this is day three got three new maps at the bottom same thing here but this is king of the hill and if you search here i'll search for you i'll be Here's obviously the search menu, and when you search, you find players. We found players pretty quickly, and surprisingly, because of the issues they had this morning. But uh, yeah, we're gonna back out. And we're gonna go into the war journal next. Go to leaderboards. All right, King of the Hill. Ooh, this. Number one score 601,000. All right, who cares? As you can see here, blah, blah, blah. There I am ranked over there. I'm not top 100, I don't play that much. And here's all the other good fellas. All my friends that are playing the beta. Top rankings, all right, we're done there. We're going to statistics, which is our stats, KDA. Well, kill death ratio, win loss ratio, my level. Oh, okay, well. Here we go. Uh, I guess we have a little broken thing here. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, there we go, it's up. I don't know what that was, but maybe they could fix that. As you can see, I am level 18 as of playing in the three days. Well, I didn't really play in day one, but uh, yeah. And here you can see I have kill death ratio of 2.02, .02, win loss ratio of 2.88. I have the XP down there, a little XP bar. My wins and losses, it's not bad, it's not terrible. I'm not no pro or anything, I just enjoy the game. As you can see here, you have all your stats for the multiplayer. Then we'll go to King of the Hill. You got all those bad boys. What's in there? Then we got Team Deathmatch. And the 
weapon multiplayer how many kills I have for each gun as you can see I like to use the shotgun and there you go alright I'll back out of that then we go to settings Got your video settings, which all it is is you change the brightness of your screen. I have it maxed out because I want to see the game. IO, we'll go into this. I have it fully maxed out. Maybe I could lower the music. I don't know, but I like to put these two up because I want to hear him speaking in game if they shoot someone or whatever, throw grenades. And the sound effects, I want to hear where they are shooting from. So I have that maxed out. Controls. As you can see here, if you want it on, uh, inverted. So when you move your analog stick up, it's gonna go down. This is, you know, X axis, obviously. If you wanna move your contr analog controller of looking to the left, it is going to go to the right if it's on. Sensitivity of all this good stuff. You want that maxed out, obviously, because it's really slow. As for when you're looking, as for, I guess, yeah, when you're looking around, and this is when you're zoomed in, so yeah, you want all that stuff maxed out because it's pretty slow. Maybe they're going to change it. Vibration is when your controller is moving like crazy because you're getting shot at or anything like that. You want that off. Don't know about the controls yet, and I don't know what the heck this is about. If you guys know anything about this, obviously there is something at the bottom that tells me, but I don't know exactly what it does. But uh, yeah, we can view the controller settings. This is my settings, I guess. And yeah, this is the Gears of War menu, beta menu. I should say Gears of War ultimate edition beta menu my apologies but uh yeah this is the end of the video and if you enjoy or anything like that please give it a like i'm not gonna bother with that kind of crap it doesn't matter i'm just trying to show you the menu if you have not played the game yet so uh yeah have a great day and i'm out